All right, what's up, guys? Onesie Gaming here. Um, so, Legion pre-patch hit us last week. Well, technically this week, but uh, anyway, um, hit us just this past Tuesday. Let's put it that way. And a lot of classes changed. Um, some classes for the better. Some classes, um, <clears throat> people say for the worst. I'm hearing a lot of uh, QQ and hate from the hunter community. I do have a 100 in every class, so I've been able to kind of dabble around in, in them. I haven't played a ton with each of them yet. I've definitely played more of my warrior, more of my druid, um, my shaman. Enhancement shamans are absolutely nuts. I like, love enhancement right now. But uh, this is a this is gonna be a video about warriors. Now, is this the expansion where warriors are the go-to farming class? I, I I don't know, because if you guys remember, you know, in vanilla WoW, it was all about the frost mages and going to S uh, Silithus or whatever. I forgot. Yeah, Silithus. You had the frost mages go over there, and you had all that craziness where they could just farm up and make all that gold. And then Burning Crusade, you had frost mages again still, but the hunters kind of came in and really showed, you know, that they can do the farming and whatnot. Um, especially the herbalism guys up where like the sky reach was. Um, Wrath of the Lich King, if if I remember correctly, um, I, I want to say that's is that when the prop paladins. Anyway, everybody's kind of had their spotlight. Not everybody, but, you know, like, prop paladins and stuff like that. And then, recently, it's been balanced druids, with Starfall being absolutely just insane. Um, I think Fury Warriors now might be the go-to for the farm. Because, those of you guys that don't know, Whirlwind is now spammable and costs zero rage. Um, it's insane. It does an un un obscene amount of damage, too. I believe it does four, it hits four times with the weapons. Um, with one whirlwind and it's just it's awesome whirlwind's actually a pretty awesome ability now for farming not sure what it is you know at level and whatnot but for farming it seems to do the job just fine and they have like warriors have a pretty cool spec that you can go for farming you can lower the cooldown on your heroic leap and it also gives it a speed boost so when your heroic leap and then you get a two second 60 percent or it might be 70 percent speed boost it says two seconds but the thing lasts about four seconds it's kind of it might be bugged because you get the speed boost right when you land, or at least I do, and um, the timer doesn't start until she recovers from her move, so it's actually like four seconds long. So I, I found that out. That seems pretty interesting, um, but that does help increase your time. Obviously, it's not cat form or sprint or anything like that, or you know, with Druids being able to go displace her beast into sprint, or, you know, cat sprint. But I mean, you could see that it just it. She mows them down. Um, this this warrior, uh, you know, with whirlwind does way more damage than what Starfall did on my druid, and you know, it just kills everything in pretty much one whirlwind, and then all the big stuff, you know, it kind of just takes two or three whirlwinds to kill them. But uh, if I can land a full whirlwind on a, a mob, it's it's basically lethal every time. So, is this gonna be the you know are the warriors gonna be the 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 go-to since the starfall you know quote-unquote nerf um that remains to be seen but i can tell you that i was very surprised by my farming ability on this warrior i was like wow okay that she can actually do something you know like warriors they've always been plagued with being slow and clunky whirlwind needing rage and then you know you could use blade storm to need rage but had a long cooldown dragon roar was kind of the same thing dragon roar's cooldown isn't long but whatever but now that Whirlwind's free, they're completely viable in farming. So any of my, you know, warrior brothers and sisters out there, you guys know that, I, like I said, I have one of each class at least at 100, and I have two paladins and uh, two, and I have two warriors. Uh, warriors are my favorite class. It was the first class I played in WoW. Um, absolutely fell in love with, with the class, but the farming ability was never there. Seems like it's there, guys. So I'm gonna continue to do some testing and kind of timing. Um, I think. Perhaps a druid might be might still be faster in timing just because of cat form, but I wonder how the effectiveness of like AOE and whatnot goes because I feel like my warrior will still kill this stuff in just one single swipe. But I'll have to see what kitty cat form does because freaking feral druids seem like they're insane right now. I actually switched my feral or my druid to feral from balance. I used her for farming. Now she's balance or, or now she's feral. So we'll see. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I wanted to keep it nice and sweet under five minutes. So it looks like we're about there. But I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. And as always, check me out on Twitch. I'll put the link down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.
down to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true